What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at two products from 1821. They're clay and paste. We're gonna look at them both up close and see what they're all about and really how they differ from each other. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at them both up close. We're gonna get a real good look at them, see what they're all about, what they do, and really how they differ from each other. <laughs> All right, so today we got the clay and paste from 1821, and I've been told that folks in the past are having just a little bit of trouble seeing the difference between these two and what they're for, what they do in the hair, etc. And so we're going to run through it today. I'm going to make this less of a, re a review per se and really just present what these do as individual products so you guys can get a look and really a full understanding of the two products. Starting first with the clay, which the brand says is made with a blend of clay, wax, and a elastic fibers that provide additional thickness and a shine-free natural feel to your hair. Officially speaking, we have a medium hold, matte finish, and that amazing sweet tobacco scent. It also comes in a two ounce jar and sells for $16.80 US. Inside the jar on this one, we got a very curious looking clay. I say curious because it's got a look to it that isn't typical of many clays, especially ones that contain bentonite, which is a type of clay. Of course, it, it doesn't really matter matter in the grand scheme of things what the color of the product is. It's not an indicator of, of, of its performance and things like that. But I did just want to note that it does look a little different from a lot of clays that we see here. Consistency wise, it's also very soft and creamy, but it has a nice density to it. It's not too thin. You can kind of tell from the look of it. It's got some body to it. And when you get it into the hand, it does have some really nice tack right away. Now though, let's shift gears and look at the paste. And again, according to the brand, the sweet tobacco hair styling paste can provide smooth and refined texture while controlling the frizz. They say it leaves your hair soft with a semi-glossy, authentic finish, helping you achieve an effortless look. Official specs here include a soft hold with medium shine and that same sweet tobacco scent. Like the clay, this one also sells for the same price of $16.80 for two ounces of product. Inside the jar here now, I do think we have a, a bit of an idea of why some folks confuse the two products. It does look an awful like the clay at first glance. It's got that white color to it. It's very smooth in the jar and it comes out with that same soft appearance. Once it's in the hand though, the differences in my eyes anyway show themselves right away. This one here is a lot thinner consistency wise than the clay. It's a bit slicker in other words. It's just got a lot of slickness to it and really this one doesn't have that same presentation of tack like we saw in the clay. It's not really dry or sticky at all. It's much more smooth and lightweight in the hand. Next though, we do need to put each of these up top to demonstrate their abilities and we're starting first with the clay and the the thing that I noticed most about this is it's very smooth and it's kind of forgiving when you first use it, meaning you can get away with using a little bit more or, you know, in my case, I do need to use a little bit more because I've got a lot of hair to work with right now. So I do need to use a little bit more. And I can tell you the clay is forgiving in that aspect, meaning it doesn't bog up your hair or gunk up or make it impossible to style with. I will say though that after it's been in your hair for just a, a little bit, that texturous, dry, tacky presentation really comes out. And it's right there that we can tell that the clays are absolutely present. I mean, it may not look like it, but you can actually feel it. It's very dry. It's very texturous. I mean, anybody that's used a clay or a matte paste can tell what this feels like, and that's pretty much it right there. I am, however, still able to use it pretty freely, actually. It moves through my hair because it does have a slicker consistency on top of being dry. It is very easy to use, even with a comb. I still would recommend just using it in small amounts until you get, you know, used to working with it since it does tend to tack up and become dry after a few seconds. Let's now reset and check on the paste here. This one's very different as you're about to see. This one's got that semi-gloss finish and it comes out right away as it enters the hair. It's got that nice good helping of shine to it and unlike the clay it's not dry in the least. It's also got a lot less hold compared to the clay in my opinion. It's much more lightweight but it is very slick again due to those attributes that it has in the formula so it's very easy to apply and sculpt. This in my opinion though is much more of a conditioning cream at least based on what I see here as there really isn't much there in the form of hold the hold that it does have kind of presents itself more in terms of control versus actual hold from that shine that it has in there you know it uses the oils from that shine to kind of control your hair versus using any type of power to actually lock it in. Now, in the end here, when it comes to comparing these two and any confusion on them, I think the differences are 
pretty clear from the beginning. The descriptions are very different. The listed attributes are very different. And then later, the outcomes are extremely different. They're pretty much opposite from each other, actually. If you do look at them in the jar, though, I, I guess I can absolutely see why someone might wonder. For a clay, the 1821 clay looks different than a lot of clays that we've seen. If you put them next to each other, they kind of look very similar. Also in the hand, at least for you know a couple of seconds, they do tend to feel somewhat similar. But after you move it around, though, that's where things start to go their different ways. The clay presents itself very dry, got that tacky, pretty much you know, after a couple of seconds. And then the opposite with the paste, it becomes slick. You can see some of the shine in your hand. It just goes a completely opposite direction on me. So hopefully that comes across on camera because it's very obvious to me using both of these that they are very different. I hope though that helps you guys differentiate a bit between these two products and just illustrates the differences between the two. If you would like to check them out though, you can find them at the 1821 shop, which will be linked in the description. If you enjoyed what you saw here today, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that's a huge help to me so thank you very much in advance for doing that that is it though for today thanks so much for joining me here i will be back with you again very soon take it easy i'll see you next time